Welcome back to Video Therapy. I'm your host, Forty. Today I'm joined by Dan Mackay. That is I. <laughs> he is the owner of 1980 Recordings, Phonic, and 33 Music, three record labels, a DJ who plays in Ibiza, Barcelona, London, and Andorra. And Andorra. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a little one. A six month old uh, baby daughter, yes. How do you find the time to come on this amazing show? I, I don't really have time. So. <laughs> what a great guy. Well, thanks for being here. I no truly problem. appreciate it. So why don't we start with the meme of the day? Nudists, right? They're nothing like they, uh, you see in the movies. Remember, in the movies, you're pre-approved to be naked. <laughs> this is kind of true, isn't it? It's very true, yes. Yeah. The oh. amount of different shapes and sizes you see on the beach, it's especially. A it's amazing because there is a nudist beach here in Barcelona, um, in Barceloneta, that you pass by quite often for different reasons. Um, and it's always the guys with the huge bushes and the little sesame seed penises. <laughs> and the women, they look like they've been at a bakery. There is so many things going on there. You know, the doughs rise. It's, uh, there's nothing really sexy. There's a woman it. who uh, sits next to the red fish. She sits on the rocks and she's, she must be like, I don't know, 70s, 80s, and she's just leather, basically. I mean, that sounds delicious. <laughs> it, Yum. I haven't had breakfast yet, and I don't think I'm, I'm already gonna... full. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well, this kind of transitions into an article I just read um, about France. France has 2.6 million nudists or naturalists. Did you know that? And a lot of French. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and, and France has French, yeah. <laughs> this guy's on top of things today. It's amazing. <laughs> but really, what this article was about is in France, uh, the Palais de Tokyo is a museum. And they opened their doors on May 5th for nudists to come and see one of their installations. I, I, I think all the attendants were clothed, but when you came... So they didn't cycle there or anything on, on a bike? Yeah, well, it would have been interesting to be sitting on the metro and all these naked people get on. Yeah. They, do, they do that in London. They do uh, nudist uh, marches and all that, and they, they go around Hyde Park on the bikes and everything. Yeah. It's funny, I did see a, a video once with a bike and a female and an attachment <laughs> on the seat. But I, I don't know if this she was a nudist. Anyway. I'm guessing that wasn't the protest. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't protesting watching the video. <laughs> So, you know, in this article, one of the other things, well, okay, before I, before I say that, what do you think about the museum opening its doors to nudists? Do you think Why this not? was, was this a publicity stunt or? Of course it was, of course it was. Look, all the press, the art exhibitions got, of course it's publicity. Right, so this Every, was, Everything's publicity. And everything. it, it was before opening hours, so it's not like, um, it's not like they were just saying, hey, it's cool for all nudists. It was just for a certain time frame. You've got to be an early riser. Hey! <laughs> 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 so, also from this article, I read that there is a naturist b and B. It's kind of like Airbnb, but for people who want to be naked. Yeah, that's not... Imagine just sitting next to something, or someone, or eight, whatever it is, because we're doing a... We're doing a there's no selection no, process. Not, no. Well, imagine if I rented my place out to a naturist b and Having your breakfast This there. couch oh, no. would have so many more balls rubbed on it. I mean, currently it's only mine, but uh, I think that's my favorite spot you're sitting in. <laughs> it smells like it. Yeah. So, ha have you been a nudist before? I have been on a few nudist beaches in my, my lifetime, yes. About three, I think. Really? One of them, the first one was in Ibiza, where I used to live for a year and a half. And then, um, yeah, yeah, that was fun, yeah. With the carrot out and carrot patch and everything. Well, well being ginger, right, right. Um, this was a beach full of Spanish people. Right. Uh, and they're predominantly dark haired. So I went into the, uh, the sea, had a swim, and I was coming back out. And my girlfriend at the time said, she just looked at everybody on the beach when I was walking out of the sea. Right, right. And once I walked out of the sea, obviously I'm ginger, the whole beach just looked at me, watching me walk out of the sea. <laughs> I suppose the shiny ginger carrots glistening in the sun, right? Yeah. Would be something to spot, All that right? Yeah, the glistening ginger <laughs> pubes, yes. Jesus Christ, I'm not going to eat it at all today. So, um... Because he's so full. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
Uh, so, yeah, I myself am a grower, so I don't think nudist beaches are for me, but uh, I wanted to leave you with that image before we moved on. <laughs> I don't know. I suppose I, you know, one of my last. You do it once in your lifetime. Why not? I mean, I sometimes wa I walk around naked in my house with the curtains open. Oh, there you go then. And uh, I look at the tourists. I wave bo <laughs> both like this and then like this, you know. And like this, <laughs> right? And then also the helicopter, right? It's only listen. How else do you welcome people to your city? <laughs> exactly. So, it's friendly. Right, right, right. I mean, usually it's my go-to move in the bars. <laughs> I've seen it. But speaking of which, I've I've gone dry. I, I'm not drinking anymore. Yeah, Can you well believe done. that? Yeah, yeah well done. Done. You came out for a beer yesterday and it was non-alcoholic one. Right, right. Sin alcohol. Sin alcohol. I had a beer. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's normal. Um, well. Well. <laughs> as, no, <laughs> as, as normal as gingers <laughs> gets. Exactly, yeah. So it's funny because Dan is my first ginger friend. And Did you know that? And he's been missing out his whole <laughs> life. So... Being that this is the case, I figured I'd do some research. I wanted to learn more about your kind, if you will, right? Yeah. So I found out that there are only 2% of the world are gingers. And then yeah. even more, more unique yeah. is this guy right here. He is one of the rarest gingers because he has blue eyes. I, I, did, I didn't know this until it, uh, I read your notes at the start of the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's amazing is I was doing some research on the internet. You know, I found an article on Cosmo, not from my subscription. Let me put that away. Yeah. <laughs> so I was doing some research and I read this article on Cosmo and said most gingers have brown eyes, followed by hazel, then green, green and yeah. the most rare are blue. Yeah. And yet not I only are you a blue-eyed ginger, you have a blue-eyed daughter, Ginger. I do. A, a gin well, she's more blonde, I would say. But yeah, she's definitely got my skin color, which is considering my girlfriend's olive skin, which is quite amazing, and Spanish, Catalan. So yeah, wow. I've got a Ginger Geordie, Spanish, Catalan, British hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> Part vampire, werewolf, maybe witch. Well, not a vampire yet. <laughs> Give her time. She's only six months. So speaking of which, I, I found a joke about gingers online. It said, what's the difference between a ginger and a vampire? I do not know. One is a blood-sucking creature that avoids the sun. The other one is a vampire. <laughs> It's true, it's true. I've just bought a tent to go to Ibiza next week and um, I'm, I'm over the moon with it because it's uh, I can fit in it and so can my daughter and <laughs> my girlfriend will be outside the tent and I'll be in this tent. <laughs> <laughs> it's massive, it's big and orange as well, so, you know, it's like a beacon for gingers. And, and, they, and they say chivalry is dead, guys. It, it's alive and well in ginger We've got form. thick skin and thick blood us gingers. <laughs> That's right, they say that you guys have a higher pain tolerance because there's some chemical that's released in your body that blocks yeah, the pain. That is true, yeah. yeah. And our blood's thicker. Uh, and also, uh, we, well, uh, yeah. And you have no soul, right? No, we have soul. Well, I've heard, well, I've heard him play. This guy plays some funky disco. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely got soul, yeah, but uh, sure. Sure. I'm not sure where he got it. Maybe he's a pseudo got rhythm as well. Yeah. <laughs> he can dance too. <laughs> So, Dan, you have a new track coming out on the 25th of this month, no? I do, yes. Um, it's, uh, a co it's a collaboration with uh, Matthew uh, Bassi. It's called Kumpai. It doesn't sound that sexy, but it is a, it's a Japanese fish. That yeah. has no it's relation. It's a spiritual fish, apparently. So there you go. No relation to Bukaki, then? No, nothing. nothing. <laughs> also Japanese. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I heard the track. It's a really... Uh, it's a deep, minimalistic tech kind of track. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Because it would be like... So it's like sort of for an after party. At, um, in, like an Ibiza after party. Like music on or something like that. So, yeah, it would fit in really well. And basically, this guy sent me this as a demo to my 98 recordings. Gotcha. And uh, I basically... Mm liked it but i thought it needed something more so i went do you want to do a collaboration on it and he said yes and then i added some more production to it made it a bit fuller and then got mastered and added a few more things and yeah it's yeah came out where can what they, it is where can they find the track on the 25th uh on the 25th it is exclusive on beatport and spotify and then two weeks later it is everywhere Amazing. Guys, we're going to finish this uh, episode with the track. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the track. Stay up to date on Dan McKay. All his info is going to be in the description. Amazing guy. Great DJ. 
And well, even and ginger, even though he's ginger, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Until next time, we're out. Let's go.